Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Wednesday morning and we got back from Laguna on Tuesday yesterday and we just had a day where we were uh, incapacitated. <laughs> no, but we just genuinely like went so hard over the weekend and then had a Disney day to cap it off. So it was just like a lot, but we're back and I am a little out of breath because I'm walking quickly. I just parked my car and I'm walking to a sample sale at Reformation. I don't know if this is going to end up being some clips in this vlog or if it's going to be a full main channel video. It depends on like the inventory and what they have and stuff, but we're going to head over there, see what they've got. I did a little messy bun this morning. That was like a super viral on TikTok moment from a creator named Delaney Childs, I think. Um, and I tested it out for a main channel video, so I already filmed that. I'm out of breath because I'm walking briskly in Doc Martens nonetheless. It's okay, I'll survive. So anyway, we're gonna go check out this sample sale and see what, what's up, see what they have to offer. So let's do it. But not really. Good morning, it is a few days later, quite a few days later now, I think it's like five or so days later, but it is Sunday morning. We're getting ready to do our Sunday morning routine. We're gonna walk and get some coffee, possibly walk to the park, walk to the farmer's market, I think. We need some flowers and like some veggies and stuff for the week. I think we have enough like meat and stuff in the freezer, but we will probably need to place like a grocery order later or go to Trader Joe's or something. But our laundry is going. I just put on a cute little outfit, like a cozy casual well, but those are my favorites and we're gonna head out on our walk but I thought I would pick up this vlog again I desperately need to clean this mirror every time I show an outfit in this mirror I'm like woof but here we go we are not gonna talk about how I desperately need to uh, iron <laughs> or steam this sweatshirt I like washed it and folded it but this is what it looks like it is extremely wrinkly that's okay I found this sweatshirt at a thrift store in Tokyo and I can't remember if I said this but one time I was walking Layla outside obviously months ago before she passed and someone was walking by and they said what's your affiliation with Cornell and I wanted to be like Andy Bernard because <laughs> that's why I bought this sweatshirt but really I was just like oh I just found it at a at a thrift store in Tokyo for like $20. And he was like, well, I can guarantee my son's undergraduate at Cornell costs more than that. And I was just like, okay, have a good day. <laughs> anyway, love that story. Um, these flare leggings are from Aerie. My shoes are from ASOS. I decided to do a little pink and red moment. And my hat is from Free People. I'm doing a Free People video, I think, on my main channel. I ordered a few bits, so we're gonna do that soon. I'm gonna clean this mirror today. We need to clean our apartment. We were away last weekend, uh, like leading up into Monday, and I feel like I just haven't fully recovered. I got back into like work and I got all my work stuff done, but just like life stuff has kind of fallen to the wayside. And I don't know if you're ever like that, but I just can't seem to balance both. It's either <laughs> like life is on track personal life stuff or like work is on track so I'm gonna try to try to make that happen today and just feel like I'm in a nice clean space um, I'm ahead on things you know what I mean so anyway okay enough talking let's go get coffee oh the lens I just filmed a taste test of this strawberry matcha wasn't recording the whole time but it's delicious tastes like strawberry milk what more could you want but I'm always and forever a plain decaf iced oat latte girly and it hits every time oh look at the sun so pretty <laughs> We are back from the farmer's market and got just a few little things. Really, we just went for fun. Like none of this stuff. We get most of our groceries at the grocery store, but they have really beautiful flowers. So we got this bouquet of flowers that has like some calla lilies, lilies, sunflowers. I'm gonna put these away. I still have my anniversary flowers. I don't think I showed them in a vlog, but Drew got me the most beautiful bouquet. Are you joking? These are stunning. I just love all the colors. There's so many like pinks and oranges. And then we have like these little thistles. So cute. And those are still going strong, but like I've never had too many flowers. And just something about farmer's market flowers just hits. Although 
They don't last as long as Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's flowers literally last like two weeks. Um, it was the best day of my life because Harry's berries are back. Oh my god, these are the best berries in the entire world. If you're either ever visiting LA and it's a Sunday and you go to a farmer's market where they have Harry's berries, get them immediately. I don't know how to describe it. These are like almost black. Like they're so dark red and they're just like the softest, juiciest, best flavored strawberries you'll ever have in your life. It is $14 for this pint of strawberries um it's so worth it we only get it like maybe once a quarter at this point um i got some lemons and i thought yeah, i would make a those. lemonade those Meyer lemons? drew likes to make fun of the people at the farmer's market like um what kind of lemons are these are they meyer it's like they're lemons they're girl yellow. yeah <laughs> i got some lemons to um make some lemonade and i thought it'd be fun to try like a passion fruit lemonade or maybe make these into a cocktail i'm not really like in my cocktail era at the moment so maybe i'll make like a passion fruit lemonade i'm not sure but i got two passion fruits and some lemons so we'll see what we end up doing with those we got two bundles of baby broccoli or broccolini and then finally we got some blood orange juice which i've never had before the lady was really selling us on this yes yeah, she was also trying to sell us on it was called cocktail and it was like grapefruit and orange but we're not really grapefruit people she was like no you'll love it i like grapefruit drew doesn't but i was like i would rather have just like the good orange and i wanted to go for the classic and she was like you have to try the blood orange so she sold me on it i'm gonna try it right now actually but i need it's not that cold so i need to put some some ice in it which feels kind of weird for orange juice but it's fine okay so we're gonna try it gotta shake it up i'm so curious about this and it is, it is bloody. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Woo! She wasn't kidding about the tang. Um, less sweet than tangy, for sure. Okay. Hmm. Um, well, it's good. It's just very, very tart. I'm gonna give it like a five out of 10. I should have just got classic, but that's okay. It's still really good. I'm not sure if it's allergies, but I did feel like a tiny tickle in my throat this morning. So I'm gonna use all the vitamin C I can get. So I will drink this whole thing at some point today. Try it. Yeah, try it. It's very tart. Give us your thoughts. This man will be honest. I'll tell you that much. Um, it's kind of bland. Yeah, it's very tart. I'm not a big fan of orange juice to begin with, so. <laughs> You're a bad judge. Yeah, I don't know. Very tangy. I thought it was gonna be sweeter, I don't know why. No, same. All right, time to make breakfast. Okay, I have been so sadly dis like increasingly disappointed by this juice that i i want orange juice like i'm craving it really bad now and i remembered that i have this thing of cuties like the little uh, clementines that have been sitting in the fridge for like probably a month at this point and so i'm going to make orange juice out of them this knife is terrible i need a better knife but i have my little lime squeezer and it's probably going to take all of these <laughs> to make even the tiniest amount of juice but I don't care. I want a glass of orange juice, like really good, sweet orange juice, really, really bad. So that's what we're gonna do. So enjoy watching me squeeze about 10 to 15 of these little things. Okay, it didn't give me much, but honestly, that's all I need because I had quite a bit of that other one anyway. So we're gonna taste test it. Cheers. Cutie juice. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I wanted. Oh my God, I'm gonna savor every drop. Yes. Oh my God. It's like the best orange juice I've ever had. It's so delicious. All right, it's a couple hours later. It's like 1 p.m. now. We finished, well, Drew's just finishing up um, cleaning the apartment. He forgot to vacuum one little area. So we cleaned the bathrooms, the kitchen. I used my little scrubby brush thing on the shower. I love that thing. I talked about it in a main channel video recently. And um, now I don't usually work on Sundays, but I'm doing just a little bit of like editing work because I am gonna, I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is gonna matter or not, but basically I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed on 
Tuesday and I'm going to like a really good place in LA hopefully god they have like amazing reviews it's really hard to get in and I actually put myself on a cancellations list and they had a cancellation so I was able to get it um and so it's much more of like a natural it's not like how it used to be you know you would just basically like tattoo your entire brow it's more of like hair like strokes like very very light natural so i'm excited about that but anyways um i don't think i can i don't know what the healing process is going to be like i've always heard like horror stories like it takes weeks and i'm not allowed to work out so basically i'm just trying to like get as many work things done as possible um because and it, tomorrow is going to be a crazy filming day because i just don't know how long it's going to be until i'm going to be able to be on camera i'll obviously vlog it but for like main channel videos and stuff so i think i'm going to try to get ahead on some work maybe possibly although it is sunday and i really want to chill it's so weird it was beautiful and perfectly sunny and now there are gray clouds everywhere and i think it might actually rain it poured rain yesterday i was actually living my best life we had all the windows open we literally laid in bed until like noon just listening to it it was iconic anyway i'm gonna do like a couple little work things we'll chill for a bit and then catch up in a little while you gotta start somewhere even if you gotta do push-ups against the wall that's fine The next day it's monday morning i just finished my workout my shower washed my hair blow dried it styled it redid my diy like eyelash extension things they're from flutter habit by the way and um wow that was exhausting it's business as usual filming main channel stuff i have my pajama pants on the bottom and a normal shirt on top i have these cute little earrings that i got from i think they're called i think it's called en route and route depending on how you say it and these have cute little bows with hearts on them so i'm wearing those might throw on a pair of glasses for the video not sure and i decided to do a very me circa 2013 hairstyle and i love it if you watch my my main channel then you'll have seen that i uploaded a video where i reacted to like a bunch of my old photos and i was like wait why did i stop wearing braids in my hair like that's so cute i did a lot of the sort of like braided bangs down in the front i can't do that right now because my bangs are too short but i was like let's try it and i kind of love it so just a reminder to wear whatever you want wear your hair however you want wear whatever feels comfortable to you feels authentic to you whatever you gotta do i'm feeling it i think it's really cute i'm gonna give an eye update because it has now been three weeks since i've had this red dot on my eye i'm pretty sure it was from sneezing really hard which is like a fun thing it's just a thing that happens as you get older just things start things start acting funny but um okay so here we are three weeks in this is <laughs> this is the update um that's terrifying i'm sorry but it's just kind of like now on the outside it is fading a lot like i would be a little concerned because it has been three weeks since the first day i woke up and, and noticed it um I would be more concerned if it wasn't like fading and like moving, um, but it's definitely fading. So it's gonna go away. It's just annoying. So anyway, that's my Monday morning check-in. I am going to film a main channel video because like I said yesterday, I'm trying to get ahead. Let me know if you think me talking about, I'm kind of taking you through my day in these vlogs, but let me know if like talking about my main channel stuff is really boring because then I won't obviously. But yeah, that is what is going on in my world. I just set my vlog live, my anniversary vlog, which is so sweet. I love it so much. It makes me so happy. I posted an Instagram reel and now I'm filming a main channel video. So we're, we're doing it, we're doing the things. I'm having one of those mornings where I'm just like, I can't believe this is my job. Like, I can't believe that this is what I do for work and I'm just so grateful and it's because of all of you. It's literally because of all of you and I could not be more appreciative for you. So just thank you so much if you're taking the time out of your day to watch this. Just truly know that not a single day goes by where I'm not like, what the heck? 
what the heck these are the greatest people in the entire world anyway i'm gonna film this video and then maybe we'll make some lunch i have groceries coming soon you know all the monday things all right we're taking a little lunch break it's one o'clock i'm making the trader joe's um like soup dumplings not the ones that were recalled don't worry i don't controversial if you've like heard of all the girlies talking about the trader joe's soup dumplings they're really good but I don't like them just like out of the microwave. Like I don't really like the soup part of it. It's not my fave. I like Xiao Long Bao, like when we go to Tin Tin Tai Fung. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I don't like store bought pesto. No one's gonna know what that is. You're always giving like an obscure well, internet reference in the background or like a deep TikTok reference. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, so I microwaved them as usual and then instead of just eating them like this You put them in a pan like an oiled pan and then they kind of get crispy like a pot sticker type of vibe That's how we're gonna do it. So heated up my pan over here With a little bit of cooking spray Drew is making his leftover spaghetti for lunch So we've got quite a variety of flavors going on here and then I'm gonna put these in the pan when it's warm I'll show you what it looks like. And I'm still gonna do all of the like soy sauce, sriracha. What else do people put on it? Like chili crunch, I think? So we'll try that. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these in my pan. That's the sound we wanna hear. Beautiful. Most of that is the soup cooking off. <laughs> Sorry to the soup lovers. I wanted to add a little something extra on the side, so I remembered I had some Trader Joe's frozen, like cauliflower, rice, um, like stir fry. Honestly, I think it's gonna be kind of good. We'll see. Oh, yeah. She's flipping Will you that. grab that? Will you show it? She's flipping. Sick camera work. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Slay, babe. How does it feel to be a professional chef? Um, really amazing. Um, it feels really good to be better than everyone. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I am a Capricorn, so I'm better than everyone. I've She's ever better ever than been. you. <laughs> okay, honestly, it looks pretty good. Sometimes it looks like scallops, which is interesting. It's just like the pan seared thing. So, okay, I'm gonna do a drizzle of soy sauce over the top so we get that good flavor. Was that a lot? Yeah, it was. That's okay. We're gonna do a little dollop of sriracha on each one. Cute, okay. And then we're gonna do some Trader Joe's onion chili crunch or something like that. We also have the Fly by Jing one. Um, I alternate between both. But since this is a Trader Joe's one, I'm gonna put the Trader Joe's crunchy bits. Crunchy. And then just for funsies, I'll add some fruit pocket. Why not? to add a little razzle dazzle. That does not look bad. For like a quick, what, five minute meal? Like that looks pretty good. So okay, let's do a taste test together. Of course, just as I sat down to eat, our grocery order got delivered because that's how it goes. So I'll show you what we got. A little grocery haul. Instead of eight bananas, they gave us eight Shut bananas. Up. <laughs> no, I might have accidentally, I might have accidentally done that. I think that was oh, me. Oh no. Because you know on Instacart, you have to say Two how many you want. Punches. But I think I said eight because I was thinking, oh, I want oh, eight bananas. But not I Amazon Fresh, it's a bundle. Well, good thing I eat a frozen banana, like two of them a day, really. Oh, I blow myself away sometimes. Wow. I mean, we'll eat them. I wish I was joking. I wish I was joking, but I think I did this. Are there more? No. More bananas. I think that's it. More bananas. Are there more in there? They're all fat bananas. Shut up. Oh. Oh God. That's funny. Uh, wow. Lovely. I cannot believe I did this. <laughs> what? Okay, no. I'm gonna reframe it. 
What an iconic thing to do. That was absolutely iconic, legendary behavior. Absolute icon. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bunches of bananas. I will be making banana bread for anyone who would like it. So please let me know if you'd like some. Oh my God. <laughs> get over that. I'm so hungry. I just want to eat my lunch. Okay, let's do a quick little grocery haul. We got some oat milk. They were out of our usual, so we have that for our coffees. Drew has Yakult every single day. This is like a Japanese um, like probiotic yogurt drink thing. I got some Perfect Bars. These are like one of my favorite protein bars that don't have like protein powder. I think it just has like egg powder or something like that. And like peanut butter and it tastes like cookie dough to me. I love it. We got some tortilla strips to have for Taco Bowls. We're actually gonna make those tonight. We got some more turkey breast. I love like a honey roasted turkey breast, so we got that. I got some balanced breaks. These are just so nice to have in the fridge. They're easy to just like grab and go. So this one has cashews, cheddar, and raisins. Got some almond milk. I have this in my smoothies every day and we use it for like cereal and stuff. We got some celery, some grapes. I was in the mood for some red grapes. Some Brussels sprouts because we forgot to get them at the farmer's market as well as zucchini and squash. And we didn't get any like meats or proteins really this week. We have a ton of stuff in our freezer already. And, oh, there's another bag there. We have like just a bunch of stuff that we need to get through. We got some iceberg lettuce for Taco Bowl wraps, things like that. We got some green beans. These last a while in the fridge, so that's good. We got tortillas and sweet potatoes. These freaking Taco Bowls are so heavenly. We tried them at my mom's when we were back in Arizona a few weeks ago and we've become obsessed. This is like now our third, second and third bag. No, third and fourth bag we've bought. The sea salt is incredible. The cheddar is really good. And now we're gonna try the salt and vinegar too. So I'm excited about that. What else do we got? We got some Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna do like a Parmesan cheese crispy Brussels sprout situation. Got some plain Greek yogurt. Got some cherry flavored sparkling water. This is what Drew likes. We got some hint water. This is so freaking good. I love this and I saw someone on Instagram that I follow the other day working with them. So I'm like, if you wanna work with me, please hit me up immediately. We got a can of black beans. We got one avocado. This is the best cheese ever. This is the Dubliner cheese from, what is it called again? Kerrygold, it's so good. Got some puddings for Drew. These are like the vanilla chocolate ones. We got some distilled water for our ice machine. And then this last bag, I don't even know what's in here. Ooh, we got these um, cauliflower. These are like a spicy chicken tender, but I think the breading is made with like cauliflower or something. I don't know, they're just really good. You can throw them in the air fryer and you're good to go. And then we also have, oh my God. Oh yes, my true fru. They only have them in the little boxes right now. Like I prefer the bag obviously, but the dark chocolate raspberry is my jam. We also have the peanut butter milk chocolate ones, I think, in the fridge, freezer. And then last but not least, ooh, I wanted to try these. These are Dove mini sticks. It's a raspberry sorbet dipped in dark chocolate. So we've got a lot of raspberry and chocolate going on at the moment. So anyway. That is our freaking grocery haul where I accidentally bought eight bundles of bananas. I have never done that before, but it's also kind of iconic. So we love to see it. Okay, I'm gonna put this cold stuff away, reheat my lunch, and then we're gonna do a taste test. I'm going to sit here with the bananas in the background so I can really think about what I've done. Um, but okay, we've got the lunch. <sighs> and we're gonna try it out. I think I'm just gonna stick this whole thing in my mouth. Let's do it. Cheers. Mm hmm. That is divine. If you haven't tried that with the Trader Joe's soup dumplings, you have to try it. It's so, so good. Oh my god, I love it so much. Yes, I am back on Diet Coke. 
I don't want to talk about it. All right, it's much later. It is like 5 p.m. I have been doing a little more filming. I packaged a bunch of like returns and things that need to go back. And I also have gotten started on quite a bit of editing. And I'm sitting here with my little lamp on my desk because at certain times of day, this lighting in this office gets really harsh. So I have the curtains closed right now. And I was like, oh, well, I hate like overhead lighting it's my least favorite thing ever i have my studio lights in here but that's not a vibe so drew came in here and brought me my little lamp which is so cute i love these battery powered lamps i literally use them like i take them with me from room to room and i just thought it was so sweet that he brought that lamp in here but anyways i'm gonna wrap up this vlog here because i have gabbed enough we've been yapping today i hope you've enjoyed it there's been a couple different grocery hauls there's been you know eight bundles of bananas purchased. I believe Drew counted them and it was like 50 something bananas. And I was like, well, how many bananas are in banana bread? And Drew was like, I think like three or four. <laughs> So we're gonna make some banana bread. I'm gonna make banana ice cream for desserts for the week. So I'll freeze them. And I also froze like I think three of the bundles already, like the most yellow ones. Uh, it's hilarious. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me sort of like over the weekend, over a few sporadic days in my life. And I will see you very soon in the next vlog.